Hello dessert junkies, how are you? Or should I say hello my dear little lemon drops? Why am I saying that? Because this week's video has been a request from a dear friend of mine, Ange, who is known as Sunset Lover here on YouTube. Now Ange, on the night of my birthday, was admitted to the emergency ward, filmed a video telling everyone to go and subscribe to me while high on something, the next morning can't remember she made the video. That's how memorable I am to Ange. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Ange, you are wonderful. And this is your request, an apple turnover. Okay guys, to our apple we're going to add in some maple syrup. And then we're also going to add in some brown sugar to our apples. Now this apple is probably about for enough for two turnovers. And I've cut the apple really fine. I've just added its best mate, cinnamon. And this thing is a nutmeg. If you've never actually seen one before, it doesn't come ground. And I'm going to put about the equivalent of that to go with the cinnamon. It's really good to grind your own spices too, guys. You'll get the best flavor. Mix this all up and make sure that your brown sugar syrupy mixture has coated all your apple. Under some puff pastry, I'm just going to use a bowl here. You can use um, a plate if you want. And you can make these any size that you like. I just wanted little baby small ones. That's just me. Cut your shape, and then it's time to assemble. So I like to assemble mine on the tray, because every time I move them, they move and come apart. So that's just me. Put your ring, you want to put on half of, essentially, the crescent of the circle, some of your apples. Now, um, I actually chopped a few of these apples a little bit finer after making this first one, because they were a bit chunky. So... Um, Cut down your apples, probably half a centimeter cube sort of shape. Pop your mixture into the center and make sure that you do get a little bit of that syrup. I've just got a beaten egg in here in a cup and I'm going to lightly spread that around the outside of my turnover so that it will seal together nice and tight and keep all those lovely apple -y, juicy goodness inside. So follow the side that you haven't got the apple on and sort of push it across. Um, I like to stretch it just a smidge, but not too much. And then you just want to slowly pinch the sides. That'll get it nice and tight first. And I like to sort of pinch along the edge and then go over it with a fork just to make sure that you've got a really tight seal because you don't want your filling to explode or leach out when you cook it. So I squish it together and then I go and attack it with a fork. You want to baste these in an oven for around 180 degrees. Now, my apple's not cooked, so it took me around 35 minutes. If you have cooked apple, probably around 15 until your pastry is all nice and puffed. And don't forget, brush it with some egg that you've got left over. And don't be afraid to put some sugar on there, brown sugar or demerara sugar will also look fantastic. Baked in oven, don't they look great? So with cream or ice cream, don't you love this one, Ange? And if you love this one too, you can follow me, Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Thanks for watching.